Hey, hi, this is Vince Akuri. I'm, I'm giving a demonstration on my newly acquired brother in Novus uh, 2800D. I'm just trying it out actually. I never used it before, so bear with me. Learning curve. Um, okay, I can see there's no bobbin in it to begin with. little arrow says push it that way I guess you gotta take this uh, beautiful little sticker off I hate to take this thing off oh boy what a nice sticker see if I can save that thing that's nice look at this I want to save that okay that I got so now the arrow says push it that way okay no uh, no thread. So let me let me take some of my pre-wound thread. I get I get all my supplies where I bought this machine. Uh, I got it from uh, I got it from Mr. Vac and Mrs. So and. In Wonton, New York, that's Long Island, and I uh, highly, highly recommend them. In fact, let me see if I could. I, ha I usually have trouble with the, with this uh, HD camera trying to get a, a zoom. Mr. Vac, Mrs. So, Joe and Lisa is their name, one to New York. Okay. So now, <clears throat> let me put a bobbin in. I had a, uh, uh, a, a brother PE. 770 I, I just uh, I just sold it and uh, all right a counterclockwise the thread comes off the spool drops in there's a pictorial and you 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 pull the thread in let's see if I can zoom in on that I try I put the thread in to a Jew there's an arrow goes underneath a, a piece of plastic pulls out there's a notch you bring it through the notch another arrow right to here and that's actually a cutter all right cut it nice this should drop in clicks into place uh, to put the thread oh, oh, what happened I'm out of focus here all right to put the thread in the top it should be like my other unit you open this here's here's where you put the thread up top green I get a nice green now the way the way these bobbins a lot of bobbins uh, you you pull the backs like this you pull the backs and the, they pop up a lot of people don't know that and then the other thing I usually do is is I, I put a, a pencil to make a hole I try, I try to I try to salvage the 
the label because I need the number, the 509. Put this on all the way. Okay, now it has. Um, see if I can make this make this higher. I gotta loosen this. Raise this. Okay. There's a guide on the top. With the numbers. Okay. Now this should be tight. Thread, put the thread off. Got to be careful it doesn't get caught around the, uh, just like it just did. Because usually when you first use these machines, unless you're familiar with that, you wind up with the thread going around the, uh, uh, the spool holder. Okay, so now uh, num number one. We come down here, number two. My foot's up, up, number three, over, four, down, down, four. Okay. There was something I didn't understand uh, with the uh, with the pressure foot, but it, it seems that it, it's the pressure foot's controlled. I thought I just dropped the lever, but uh, it's with, with the electronics over here. All right, so let me, uh, they're warning me about that this has to be in position. It has to be all the way in, they say. Okay, and there is a lever, there is a lever. That's one of my uh, embroideries right there. That's photo stitch. That's what brother software I made that. That's a, actually a picture of my wife. Alright. Uh, I, I put the... I brought the thread down and I brought it one, two, three, four, and then number six is right above the needle. And then I laid it into seven and and I clipped it. It has an automatic clipper. So now what I've got to do is I gotta bring this down and I just brought the thread through. Now let me get a tool to grab that. Through. Yeah, this uh, this is more sophisticated than than my other and my P seven seventeen. That's is for sure. So let me just um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let me just try to make something here. I don't know. I got green in there. Let me see if I could do something with green. Sewing, close. Let me try this. Where's the next step here? Oh, 
Okay to delete. No, I don't want to delete nothing. Embroidery. Yeah. Vinny, read the book. Vinny, read the book. Read the book. Use press the foot lifter button to lower. Who knew? Has a button. <laughs> Finish editing pattern before sewing the pattern. It's crying. Look at this. this is cute. This is cute. This is so cute. <laughs> See a little tear? It says finish editing the pattern before sewing the pattern. Then he's trying to do this, uh, thinking it's thinking it's my PE 770. Finish shattering. Oh boy, am I in trouble. I got the whole world watching me here. What button do I press? Press the little face? What do I do next? Close? Boy, am I a failure. Please wait. See, it gives you different colors. Uh, oh, I got a green light. I got a green light, folks. I promise I'm going to read the book. You see my green light? Okay. So that's the first thing it's going to try to do. Hit that. I don't even know how big this is going to be. I'm so excited to use this thing. Now this, this machine, compared to my brother PE770, which I have about 25 videos, this, the maximum stitch Per minute on this, I think it's 850, where the other was 
over a, not the hole, but I think there's several of them. Okay. Counting up Just hope that I'm using so, uh, six by twelve. The uh, the thread that I'm using is polyester and uh, <clears throat> and it's a 50 weight polyester 100% polyester and this product I was told this polystar is the brand of um, of this company where I buy them. There you go. <laughs> really nice people. I only recommend them. They're, uh, it's a family. Uh, the people are very personable. Uh, Joe, uh, knowledgeable, friendly. Uh, Elisa, his wife. Uh, they have two uh, adult children that work there. So, very nice people. I'm, I'm a nice person too, and that's why I recommend them. Alright, uh, now it stitched out 3,142 stitches. Now it's calling for number two. Uh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to finish this, this particular thing, because, uh, I'm just doing this as a test. This button cannot be used if the embroidery unit is attached. Okay, all right. I wanted to just to get some information. And, uh, all right. It, it, it's going to ask all these different colors uh, in order to make in order to make this this particular design. So I just wanted to try it out. Mm-hmm. So that's what it gave me so far, and I could uh, I could just shut it down at this actually at this point. All right, again, rinse our cure, and I thank you for watching. And this is my uh, brother Innovis, if I'm saying it correctly, 2800D. The D is for dog. Or Delta. There you go. It comes with a comes with a nice box, and the purpose of that box actually is to is to put the uh, the the hoop and and, uh, and this this unit right here now right back there is that's the attachment for just sewing and this uh, uh, this would come off this comes off and you put the attachment on and use it as a sewing machine but uh, I, 
I have a I have a Janome sewing machine. Well, I got look, I got other sewing machines. I mean, you talk about being uh, rich with sewing machines. You, you know, this the one you're looking at. It's a it's a 1923. Uh, I'm just breaking that one in. The one behind it's a 1940. These are singers, of course, and. That's a singer. That's one of the best zigzags that they made. That's cast aluminum. That came out in 1957. And he's a very nice machine. It's inexpensive, and uh, it's also sold by uh, Mr. Vac and Mrs. So. <clears throat> and. What you're looking at is just a hobby. I got other things in my life that interest me. I, I spent 48 and a half years uh, repairing military and commercial aviation. I retired as an aircraft inspector, FAA license, so I have a love for machines. Okay, so here, here is the things that you can do on a embroidery machine and uh, I recommend Brother actually you know I had two of them and uh, this well this is the best that uh, that I have so far I don't think I'm gonna go above this alright uh, Vince Sakura again thank you for watching